Welcome back, everyone, to Thirst Street Reactions. I'm Zach. I'm Shane. We're back with Cowboy Bebop. No. I'm sorry. So many things are going on, I'm inebriated. Arcane, season one. Yeah. <laughs> Episode six. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's... What happened last time? Dude, this show is just amazing. Uh, last, I mean, uh, we... I agree. Yeah. I agree wholeheartedly. I think that the animation... I'm sorry to cut you off, but the, the animation and the story development... I agree. Characters. It's weird because if you could take one thing of this show and make one part of this like pillars bad, every greatness of this, the greatness of the other things that elevate it. Like the animation is so great and exhilarating. I'm not saying there's not better drawers and stuff like that out there. I'm Artists. just saying it's, it's exhilarating. Artists. Artists. It's just a very exhilarating like a, show to look. A like, drawer and a cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> like the action <laughs> and the colors. So you mentioned the colors are just a very beautiful well, thing. It's just, it is. Like we but, watched the last episode and when it was just going through certain scenes and it showed yeah. just little segments of every scene. The colors and yeah. the artistic work, the, the way they, it's presented, yeah. the way characters are designed. I, I don't know much about League of Legends. Yeah. <clears throat> or any of this at all. I I live I fucking literally live like Mr. B and Coraline, man, with mice living in my clothing in my grandma's attic. And you can't argue it. Well, I haven't seen it in a long time. I just remember it freaked me out. <laughs> what, like mice living in my no, Coraline. clothing? Because they did. Is that the one where like, like there's like three, a different dimension? Four. Is, is it recordings ago? Yeah. I'm talking about the literal sense. Yeah. I live in my grandma's attic and there are mice living in my clothing. That's all I'm you talking know, about. That, you live in my dad's old room. <laughs> what? You live in my dad's old exactly. room. Exactly. And there's mice living in my clothing. That was once his mom's attic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm not trying to present this in anything. I'm as... living in my brother's old room. I mean, we're recording in my yeah, brother's old room. We're recording in your brother's old room. Yeah. You are living somewhere else on the Muskingum River in like a beautiful, idyllic scenario six people in a two bedroom cabin. that's unfortunate yeah. i will agree <laughs> yeah i've been there and i know yeah but it is a beautiful i do love it i'm looking forward to more of this in spite of everything i've ever criticized about it i do think this show is fucking fantastic mm -hmm. and uh i'm i want more me too let's get it oh mechanical steamboat or that's gonna be a little Kelly murphy <laughs> victor yeah Speaking of primal. She's the girl. Glasses. Oh, yeah. Young. Yeah, because he grew up in the underworld. And... Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus man. Christ. Don't be afraid. It's like a you this. giant hellbender. Yeah. Why aren't you playing with the others? That fucking guy. It is. I think he helped make uh, Shimmer. Loneliness is often the byproduct of a gifted mind. What is it? Hmm? Oh, hmm. It's like this How to Train Your Dragon. Real, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Pete, that thing would eat little kids. Sorry, she's died. I'm attempting to prevent that. Can I help? You want to assist me? Very well. We can be loners together. I like it. I like it a lot. What's up from? Dumb and Dumber. Yes! Good to see some things haven't changed. Seems just yesterday I stumbled upon an aspiring young scholar from the Undercity here. I heard your prognosis. I'm terribly sorry, my boy. Do you contemplate death, Professor? Only that of friends. I suppose your legacy has been well secured. As one of Piltdorver's founders, what haven't you to show for your remarkable life? My contributions will be short-lived. It's a sad truth that those who shine brightest often burn the fastest. Blade Runner! Yeah. I'm, I'm all up for a Victor episode, which would definitely make me think he's gonna die. Mm-hmm. A uh, part of me was flown with the idea that maybe somehow this arcane magic, I mean, it's fucking magic. There's heal and shit in the games, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I haven't played them. I just guarantee in online MMOs there's heals. There's a healer. It's like yeah. that in Final, Final Fantasy. Though. Yeah, and like most games, there's a healing element. Mother yourself. You have your fucking little tins of meat. Yeah, well, you have rations, right? Yeah, rations. Yeah. That's it. Apothecary. Ooh, making eggs? Okay, they're painting. Don't paint with eggs. I didn't know you were an artist. Fucking bitch. 
eat them. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure they do that to mix the shit in. I think I've seen it. Ancient cultures did that. Eat them. Listen, I'm sorry for disappearing last night. Duty calls. Victor saved my life once. Now he needs me and there's nothing I can do. I hate feeling so useless. Why did you come to me with this? I just... Because you're a fucking seductress, that's why. You bitch. <laughs> I think she's having a moment. Though. Why did you come with me with this? I'm an exile from my family. I'm sorry that you had sex and suddenly feel close. Why? <laughs> that mustache. That lady. Like... <laughs> it's the guy with the mustache, too. Yeah. Theorem. Uh, my name's Theorem. Nice try, Chuck. <laughs> they, they got in a fight with Zavika. Did a number on her. Oh, really? Which number? It's like a saying. You're doing great, Chuck. She reminds me of Harley Quinn. That's exactly what I fucking wrote down right here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> it's exactly what I wrote down! Yeah. I hate that. She doesn't have to be exactly like it. I, and it works. Yeah, I think Come on. Yeah. Okay, you made it. He just uh, fell gracefully. This is falling! Like Toy Story. Yeah. With style. Yep. <laughs> Yuffie. With a keyblade. Those fucking assholes running the skateboards. Yeah. They're gonna be beneficial to their cause, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx. It's a bad route to take with this kid. You might get yourself killed. Hey, he took off his... What, his dirty mustache? Sheriff. He didn't, because it's still there. He took off his... Sh his, uh... His dirty mustache his, is still his, there. His sheriff thing. <laughs> ah, about time Daddy joined us. Oh, shit. You were so busy. Oh. Jesus. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Let's talk outside. Can't you see we're playing? Could you imagine being separated from your father? I can't control her. Then of what use are you? <laughs> I'll track her down. I can fix this. <laughs> Oops. I'm oh, so sorry. Accidents happen. What is this place? It's where the kind of people you topsiders don't want to think about wind up. <laughs> you love the gun. <laughs> this is like below the lanes, I guess. It's quite below. I suppose Topside is to blame for all your misfortunes. you've put faith in my guidance, hear me now. I've seen nations destroyed by a single seed, and it looked exactly like this. Professor, this could save Victor's life. Victor, something's different. You've changed. I will have it destroyed one way or another. I mean, I get it. If fucking, it's like me and you, or me and someone I cared about. Mm -hmm. And this fucking old guy would say, hey, Dan, I... No, I'd be thinking. Destroy! Yeah. Be done! Die! She's been stabbed. Why don't you go get some real doctors up top? Helps people here with. with. this. Shimmer. Why would you take something that does that to you? I just. wanted to feel what it was like. 
to be somebody. Make other people afraid. I think Vi will be happy to see a friendly face. No, 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 you, 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 you go ahead. Is that? She, nah, she, no she knew me when I was still. Is that that anyway, crappy kid? I, I, I don't want her to, to see me like this. Kind of what I wonder. He's so oh, different, though. He does. Tell her I'm sorry. We must hold each other <clears throat> accountable. And who holds you accountable? What? Shimmer is rampant in the Undercity. Attacks at the Hex Gates and in the Academy Square. Enforcers fear to set foot in the lanes. All under your watch. Jace, you forget yourself. I'm sorry, <sighs> Professor, but healing this city will take more than just speeches. I see what this is about. Your Hextech projects need more time, more safeguards. Humans don't live for centuries. We can't wait for progress. We need a leadership focused on the future, not the past. You are the true father of Piltover, and your years of service can never be repaid. I believe it's time we gave the beloved founder of our city a well-deserved retirement. Oh, no. Jace, don't do this. All in faith. Don't do this. I don't agree. I mean, I get why he's doing it, but I feel like he's... With my deepest respect and appreciation, Professor. Who's the guy like watching over this? Like, hit the like, hit the like. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I feel terrible. This is sad, honestly. I mean, it look, is there one absentia or what? One missing. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I don't agree. I, I think it's a bad move on Jace. I get why he's doing it, but I don't like it at all. He's trying to save his brother. No, I get that. So, I can so see I'm not mad something. at him. I just, it's very unfortunate. <laughs> just like... She died, but no. I have to try and find her. You don't have parents? No. They were killed by enforcers. What? You don't have parents? Yeah. Fuck, I, fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was thinking. Although I think she's got the best intention. She's, well, very, know, she's very naive. She doesn't understand. Yeah, she's naive. Oh, man, that's not good. Vanda's okay. prodigy. Why would he come himself? I regretted that we've never had the opportunity to speak. What have you done with my sister? I have freed her. Candidly, I thought you were the prize of your second-hand family. But, Jinx. Oh, she is more than I ever imagined. A <laughs> visual. It is. You talk too much. Nice. I mean, you, that's, that's you. Cool. You know what's going to happen. No, you <laughs> don't. Kill you, everybody. You, she can see the plan, though. If I get the correspondence. Shredder! <laughs> no, you gotta You're kill me. Up. They're so big. Eye following the man with one eye. One eye. <laughs> I can't imagine he's dead. Hell no, he's not. Wherever you are, light it up, and I'll find you. No. Piss poor timing. That is. This is a great fucking show. We're definitely delving on the um What's he doing? Killing the people that were Just to help him? You did this? I thought you understood. The mutation must survive. Mm -hmm. 
understand now. Oh, so he's still alive? Evidently. A little more to cover now. Yeah, I thought he was killed at the first or the second or the third episode. Liar. Oh shit! She got her. She dead though? Uh I mean, she looks like it, I don't know. Powder? Back. I promise I did, but I, I got arrested. Marcus, I don't know. I, it doesn't matter. I just, I never thought I'd see you again. Are you real? Yes, of course. It's me. Fine. Things changed when you left. I changed. I know. Pow pow, I know. You did what you had to do to survive. Me too. It's okay. What matters is we're together. Who's she? Who are you? It's okay. She's a friend. Savika so wasn't lying? You're with an enforcer? We can work this out. This is a trick! You're playing! Episode 3! God! No! I wasn't talking to you! You're a class act, sister. Sister, it thought I missed her. That you would have missed her. Power! I'm here for you. Only you. Everyone, shut up! I need to think. Did you hear that? Oh, badass fucking moment with her. Take an ass, Zach! <laughs> Go, uh -oh. Visuals are so beautiful. Oh, oh my god, no. Goddamn bird like. Oh, that was true. Damn it. They're good at that. Tatsu would be like. Sitting there. Hemantino. Hemantino boat. Ninja. Vanish. <laughs> Guys, that was a reaction. This is our discussion. Just damn good. I was always wondering what it was going to be like. I thought it was going to be more volatile. I'm actually very glad that there was some sort of understanding in the very beginning of it at least. And then, you know. And then it was cut short. I don't know what that's going to do for... Well, the I eye moments, like when you showed the shot of the eyeball, yeah. remind me of Blade Runner. Because in Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049, they have the shots of the eye in the beginning. Yeah. Where it's just a retina. Yeah. And like all that shit, like it's your eyeball. Like yeah. Bow, yeah. In the whole beginning. So, um, and Seductress, the other councilwoman, yeah. the seduces Jace, and they're fucking getting it on. I don't know if and, she uh, wanted or planned for that to happen to Heimerdinger. I don't think that either. But I think she definitely wanted to insist on Jace persisting on his idea. Yeah, I, I think so. So, uh... But now I feel like he's doing it for the right reasons, even though... I Jace? Yeah, to save Victor. Yes. But now, by this point, it could be twisted around. Yeah, it's a little more like you're... I mean, I now just, he's going to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and I just feel bad for Heimerdinger. I mean, I get that. Like He's lived for centuries. He's seen all this shit. He's wise. He's like the Yoda in yeah. this world. Yeah, and it's always... I feel real fucking and, bad for and him. And for the people that aren't Yoda, they got to think it's like you and your children. Yeah. And your children's 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 <laughs> children. <Yeah. laughs> you, you Like I said, all the generations that are affected by just one Heimerdinger's life. Yeah. One Yoda's life. 
Yeah, and he wants him to see like the big picture. So he's like, like, I think it's hard to see do. the big picture, but motherfucker, you don't know the big picture compared to us. It's all a matter of perspective. Because our picture is really sub- small. <laughs> subjective. Yeah, it's subjective. So yeah. I understand Jason's opinion. I do. I get why this is, he's allured. What's great about the show is I understand everyone's perspective, and it's hard for me to draw a hard line and completely agree with one. Or I other. I don't draw any hard lines. I never have. Yeah. I, you know, powder signal. She had the flare. Yeah. The vi responded to. What was funny because I remember thinking, and like when she had that thing, it's like, okay, she's that's gonna come back later. But I ended up forgetting about it. And Her fucking cannon, the Gatling, yeah, quote unquote Gatling gun, yeah, like a Vulcan cannon that she uses, yeah, it's like Vulcan Raven's gun, yeah, is Vulcan cannon in Metal Gear Solid. It's ridiculous. Like cool. Three fucking barrels. Yeah, like she doesn't have the humongous ammo pack on her back. Yeah. So I don't know where all the ammunition's coming from. Um, in this world. Yeah. It's not uh, obviously based on any material realism. Yeah. That we understand. Yeah. At any rate. But to remind me of that, I always love some good Metal Gear Solid references, even if they're not implied. Yeah, and just but, like um, the, the moment it happened. Like, because I don't, sometimes I don't see where it, she busts it out of. Like, she had it the whole time. She just had it. Yeah, but like it always seems bigger when she's holding like this. And then well, I feel because like, they show up as a matter of perspective. It yeah. shows from the end of the barrel. Yeah. Firing. As opposed to just being down by her side. The uh, ravens, was there crows in here? Yeah. By the sound of them. The ra- the crows, you know, see these fucking crows. I remember you cussing them during the episode. Yeah. And so. Um, well, I mean, I remember she shot one in the last episode. I'm thinking, well, that's going to come back. Yeah. And now they're all fucking. Ah! They're in a league with the goddamn ah! fireflies or fire. What are they called? I can't remember. But the uh, ninja vanish. We you talk about Tatsu. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think when Kino in Ninja Turtles 2, when he has to sneak in and do that, and he, it's, it's like a really... Big, and so Raphael does it. Mm-hmm. Is this enough? <laughs> He's got all the bells. <laughs> yeah. What, the Casey think, Jones? What I think of Casey? <laughs> Licking <laughs> both. <laughs> and this episode is a lot about, like, the feels. You know what I mean? Like, going back to, like, some of the lower levels and seeing, like, you know, their face getting rubbed into, like, all, the, all their memories for, in Vi's case. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was it was hard. I imagine her being in prison, and then you feel like she can't do anything, and then these people that you love feel like you abandoned them. You didn't intend for that to happen. And then it's just like, I don't know. And then, of course, she's using the word jinx, that you call her a jinx, is the last thing you fucking said to her, and now she's using that. So she probably feels all this guilt now. Or at least she's going to, I feel like, going forward. And obviously, like you said, Powder, she's been affected by what she's done, and like the ghosts of the people she's killed are haunting her. They are. That's yeah. For what I've gathered away from uh, yeah this episode, and that, I uh, I do I enjoyed it. Yeah. No. I and uh, that kid. We it, it didn't give us a definitive answer, but I feel like he's like one of those. He's like the, that kid who shitty little mutant kid with glasses. Yeah. But I thought he was going to be killed. But in, in in all actuality, he's just it's like heroin. He's addicted to it and the yeah. shimmer. The shimmer, yeah. He's just a shitty kid now. I love the dynamic <clears throat> between the two sisters and uh, the dynamic they're presenting politically between, you know, fucking Yorgi man. Jason or, Haberdinger? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I really understand both sides. So I think what, what you said, you kind of hit it on the head. I think it's getting a little twisted with Jace now. And it's happened for, like, the best reasons, too. It is, but he's being pulled in every direction. He's being pulled by his Yoda. Yeah. And being pulled by his seductress. Who maybe doesn't mean to be his seductress in the ultimate sense of the term, but she probably has some altruism to her, but she's also good looking. Yeah. So. Well, one thing she mentioned was she, her last name was McDarda? McDarda? Her family cast her out. They exiled her because they didn't feel like she was living up to their standards. But she's also. That's a damn shame. She's a councilwoman. And yeah, so she obviously proved them wrong. Her now. Unless she's lying. I don't think she's lying. You know, but. I, I don't know yet. I, I don't know anything about this show or the series of the game. Um, yeah. Obviously, she has something to prove. She has something to accomplish at any rate because she's alluring Jace, you know, through sex and seduction. Yeah. To get what she wants. And that's something many women can produce and accomplish. Hold it against any of them. Obviously, with that in mind, she has a bigger role to play. Yeah. As opposed to what they're doing. Like, I, I don't think that this is the last time you'll hear from her. No, I don't think so. so. Um, 
Yeah. My big thing, I feel terrible for Heimerdinger, but I get it. Uh, one I thing do. That's, I hate that. Form. One thing that's sad about Victor is, like, because of his situation in poverty, uh, like, he was exposed to his gases and the fissures because he was, you know, he was a child. He couldn't help it being in that area. That's how I always feel particularly terrible, you know, because I love capitalism and I, I love our country. I'm not think, I don't think it's perfect by any means. There has to be how people feel about communism, where they live. Where they love it? Where they love it, but they don't feel it's perfect by any means. Well, I'm sure, yeah, and I'm sure for the average person, it doesn't matter, no matter what. Like, even the average person in China, I'm sure it doesn't yeah, matter. I do. So, I so like, uh, I just want your food, and I want you and I to get along. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, but in his situation, it's just one of those things where, like, this is a kid who's living in poverty, can't fucking, he didn't choose a life he was born into, and a circumstance he's born into, and it's going to affect and fuck up the rest of his life. That's what makes you feel terrible. So, when they said that they want to help those people. I, th- I really admired it. And, and now, and then it's looking at, oh, this guy who lives for thousands, hundreds of years, he's standing in our way. But we can help people now. We can help you now who's sick and dying. So it's just like, I get it. So it's just, it's just, well, why, all the characters. Why wouldn't are, he want to help his friend? Why wouldn't yeah. he? Exactly. Spitting up blood all over the fucking controls. Yeah, so it's just like, yeah, you got to kind of be, I, I, for me, I, I personally think he's just jumping up. He, he's just, that's quite a leap to go go from, I disagree with you. Uh, we'll see what the council has to say about this. To we're voting you out. You know, I think that I personally that's a jump. I agree. I, I didn't think it was. Like, well, it's like just yeah. I agree. I I felt like this episode was very fast paced only in that regard. Yeah. It seemed like the last between the last episode and this episode, all of a sudden it's like, oh hey, you're out. <clears throat> I know they're trying to make a move with Victor's health. Yeah. To make it more uh, preeminent. Yeah. But I'm sorry, it just seemed like it's just for the council to consider its rule, rule of law, and how they do things over one guy. Yeah. All of a sudden, to change how they do everything. I start a council where I couldn't be kicked out. That'd be the rule. What is it? I start a council where I couldn't be kicked out. That'd be the rule. I wouldn't. I'd just go ride some rail cars, man. Fuck the council. Yeah. Fuck everybody, except my own. Um, uh. I feel. Uh, just a lot of great emotion, musical beats, timing, iconography. Loved it. I can't wait to the next one. I love this show. I'm so glad it's renewed for season two. Completely agreed. Yeah, and, uh, you got anything, final words? Because that's just... Nope. That's all my notes. Loved it. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. If you like what we do here, you can like and you can subscribe. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Instagram. That too? Yes, but not on Facebook and not anywhere else. So, uh, if you don't... Not on Bumble. You won't... I don't even know what the fuck Bumble is or anything else. So, 